Kunzo is one of the most well-known and well-recognized names in the plant hobby. Over 50 years of buying, selling, trading, collecting plants. This is part three of our tour through Kunzo's greenhouses in Osaka, Japan. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, this is the last greenhouse, or at least the last greenhouse area. It's a little dark in here. It's a little overcast. That sound in the background that you guys are hearing is rain. Also, obviously, Kunzo and my friend in the background. So it seems like air plants, bromeliads. Uh, wow. A lot of these plants, guys, are, are just way beyond my level of plant understanding. You know, I, I don't even know which ones are rare. I can tell you which ones look really pretty. So excuse me if I I gloss by a really rare plant and I just, you know, have nothing to say or I don't even recognize it. I'm pretty much just going to show you guys what he has as much as I can and then stop by any plants that I feel are really, really cool. You know, in the U.S. and maybe a lot of the world, Kunzo is known for his Monstera cultivars. But, I mean, obviously he is, he is a master of of all plants it's yeah i mean wow wow i definitely did not know how how knowledgeable he is in, in all these plant varieties how diverse his expertise is this is absolutely absolutely incredible if anything i feel like uh, uh, you know he should be even more well known and well known for other things um than than just monstera so I think these are, these are clay. Yeah, it seems like these are clay and uh, they're just like attached. Or, yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, this thing is this thing is a hundred bucks. Here. That looks really cool. I think I think they're talking about my lack of appreciation for cacti and succulents. <laughs> I, I can't blame them. I mean there's there's no doubt just just by looking at this that Kunzo is a major major player in the in the plant scene. This is this is absolutely absolutely nuts. This is growing from the seeding. It's oh. not like a plant that they imported. Those are very cool. Yeah. Now, more more monstera elbows. <laughs> very very cool.
was. I, I don't even. I don't even know. His collection just keeps keeps growing. Oh my gosh! So this is the succulent in Santa Maria greenhouse. Wow. Oh, okay, guys. I'm gonna say it again. I I am not very good at Santa Maria or cacti. So I apologize again if I'm if I'm glossing through things. This is so many plants here. <laughs> so. I definitely wish I knew more about these plants. They're, they're just, they're literally everywhere and <laughs> just so many shapes and forms. start learning more about these these guys are um, they're called codex right uh, they seem super super popular here in Japan apparently they get they get absolutely ginormous visiting Kunzo was definitely one of the most memorable parts of my trip to Japan I asked him how he became so famous around the world and he actually said Instagram his friend actually convinced him to start posting pictures on Instagram and he said his popularity grew that way. I was blown away not only by his collection, the amount of plants he has, the diversity of plants he has, but also the, the warmth and welcomingness. Is that a word? I don't think it's a word. <laughs> this one is such a weirdo. Wow. What? Oh, what a weirdo. So these are the plants that I think my friend got. Uh, she is a succulent lover and a cacti lover. So I assume these are um really cool ones <laughs> I, mean, I i really like this one look at this one super super cool so fun i mean goodness so so fun oh yeah uh she got that one down there um, She thinks this one is really cool. Oh, the leaves are the leaves are pretty hard. Okay. Yeah. She likes this one. So she has a lot, and she she, she uh, I would say she knows her way around succulents and cacti. So. She has quite a few rare ones as well, so I assume that the, these ones that she doesn't have or she's getting, I assume that they're really, really special in some way. Uh, let me see if I can switch, move around the camera. This one looks really, really cool. Yeah, that 
looks really, really cool. This one, yeah, I don't know. So you guys can see that one, yeah, that one. That white one, I'm not sure I get. <laughs> but I think I like that one a lot, that brown one. And, uh, and obviously these, these colorful ones really, really speak to me. Yeah, so, so cool. He was so generous and gracious with his time to take me and my friend around his greenhouses. We spent over six hours with him. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And I am so thankful for this opportunity. And I'm so glad I was able to share this with you guys. Again, I'd like to thank Kunzo and also Kunzo Tomi to thank you guys for all your support and following him on Instagram. If you guys are enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Remember, this is part three of the greenhouse tours. So if you haven't caught part one or part two, definitely watch them, especially part one. Till next time, plant friends. Happy planting.